Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. Today is May the 17th of 2021. As I sat with the Lord this morning, I brought before him my concerns regarding the things we see taking place in our governments today. The threat to our freedoms as Christians in the world that we live in. When we ponder these things, we are troubled by them and could be shaken if we aren't putting our trust in the Lord. But as we know according to scripture, in the last days there will be troubles, trials and struggles and tribulation, things happening that we never would have believed if we had been told. And not only that, but the word of God is clear that when Jesus comes back again, that we will be caught off guard. We won't be ready. We will be thinking that things are going to continue on as they have been. But it's clear a shaking is taking place. And the things in the world may never be the same as they were. However, there is good news for those who are rooted and grounded in Christ. We will never be shaken if we put our trust in him. Though the earth should fall from under us, we're still secure in the Lord. So this is our comfort and this is our hope. And especially in these times when things are shaking. The word the Lord gave me this morning, once again, was a word of encouragement despite all those things we could be discouraged about. And the title of this word is The Age of the Kingdom because the Lord was speaking to me about his kingdom being established despite what is going on in the world and that this kingdom is never ending and we are a part of the kingdom of God not subject to the kingdoms of this world. I hope this word will encourage you as it did me that despite the things going on in the world today, we can still have hope and recognize that the Church of Christ is victorious right till the end. I'll begin reading scripture. Philippians 2 verses 9 through 11. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This scripture passage is very encouraging because we know a day is coming when every knee will bow before the Lord Jesus Christ and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. I'll begin reading the word. Take hold and pull, take hold of me. I'm about to take you far and wide. I'm taking you higher and wider than you imagine. I'm taking you to the heights, says the Lord. I will watch over you. You will not be harmed by the fiery darts thrown at you. You will not be alarmed when the kingdoms of the world fall around you. You will be in perfect peace, for I am your peace, your shelter from the storm. I am your healer, your protector, your only hope. Cling to me. Hold on tight, for you will be hurled up in my spirit to heights unknown. In this place you will behold my face, says the Lord. Face to face, that's where I am taking you, face to face with your Maker. I am raising you up, picking you up off the ground where you have been beaten and trampled, and making a spectacle of you. You will be an example of my great love and grace. I'm putting you into the midst of the action. I will use you to bring down the high places, to call them down by the power of my name. I will lead you on into battle. 
I have given you every gift, every weapon of warfare, to take down the idols, the structure that exalts itself. Nothing will be left of it when I am done the work of restructuring, for I am raising up a new house, a house that recognizes the lordship of Jesus in the earth, of those who bow down to him alone, giving him due glory. Call them down, call down the high places, trample them underfoot. I have given you my command, orders from the King of Kings, says the Lord. I will establish my throne in your midst. I will take you up into my bosom. I will hold you and never let you go. I have heard your cry. I see your tears. I am the glory and the lifter of your head. When every tower is down, every high place smashed to the ground, you shall rise victorious. There is no darkness so powerful that it cannot be broken by the power of the risen Lord that flows forth. I am coming in power and glory to break the oppressor's hold off my people, says the Lord. I will set you free. I will break every chain, every fetter that binds you, and I will carry you to heights unknown. I am your joy, your peace in the storm. I am your advocate. I will go forth on your behalf to open every door of opportunity for you to bear the good news of the kingdom. You will sow the seed and great shall be the ingathering because of it. I will bring freedom to the captives, sight to the blind. I will open the eyes of those who walk in darkness and they shall see the light shining forth. Great are the mercies of the Lord. Great is his compassion for those who have gone astray. I will bring in the lost sheep, I will gather them in, and they shall be cared for by the Heavenly Father. Trust in the Lord your God, and lean not on your own understanding. In this day I am doing a new thing. I am breaking through traditions of men to make my name known to the nations. I am raising up an army that will go forth in power and majesty to capture the strongholds of the enemy, to take down everything that exalts itself. I will do a thorough work through the nations till every knee bows before me, says the Lord. I have ordained my chosen ones to go forth in great wisdom and authority to render the enemy helpless. You will see what I do. You will see kingdoms fall before you collapsing in a heap on the ground. You will see those who oppose the workings of my spirit in this day brought to their knees, submitting to my lordship. They shall no longer oppress those I've called and chosen for this hour. Their power is being broken, and they shall fall to the ground in defeat. I am the victor, and I am riding through the land to take the kingdoms of the world back out of the hands of the oppressor. I am bringing justice to the nations. My judgment shall be swift and precise, says the Lord. Rejoice, daughter of Zion, for your king comes and he will save you from the hand of the oppressor. You are his and he will save you out of the hands of men. My grace is sufficient for you. Rest in it. You will be carried up to safety. I am your advocate, and I will fight for you. No harm shall come to you, though the earth may shake and fall away beneath your feet. You will be secure in my love. I have surrounded you with a cloud of my glory, and the enemy is unable to penetrate it. Every dart bounces off. You will be made whole. You will be made complete in me and no one will be able to take away what I have done in you. They will not be able to unravel the work I have accomplished. Though they try, they will find their efforts futile. I will bless and honor you for your perseverance, says the Lord. I will be with you till the end of the age and in the age to come. You will see what I have in store for you. 
you will see that everything the enemy meant for evil in your life will be turned around for good. Every attempt of the enemy to trip you up will fail, and he will turn in shame and run. I will show you how much I love you, how much I care. Your heart's cry shall be answered. I shall redeem your loved ones from the pit, from the destruction that awaits those who harden their hearts to the truth. I will break up the hard ground and chisel away at the rough places. I will smooth out their understanding, and they shall be brought into the truth. You will see what I do to rope them into my kingdom. I am at work, says the Lord. I am moving forth to break down resistance. I am tearing down the barriers erected in their hearts. I am taking down the walls, and I will penetrate their hearts by the power of my spirit and bring them to their knees at the altar of the Lord. Get ready, for I'm about to pour my spirit out upon your household. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. This is the age of the outpouring of my spirit upon all men. You will see the nations surrender to the Lordship of Christ. They shall come into humility and tremble before the living God. They shall bow before me and acknowledge that I am the Lord God Almighty the maker of the heavens and the earth. I am taking away every security. There will be no security except in the Lord God. The world's systems will collapse in a heap at my feet. Watch and see what I do to restore order when the collapse is complete. I am instituting a system based on the principles of my word a society founded and built upon the word of the Lord. You will see how the word of the Lord shall go forth through the mouths of the people. No idle word shall be spoken, only that which is of my spirit, says the Lord. All the earth shall hear and obey the voice of the Lord, for the voice of the Lord shall go forth as thunder to accomplish the purposes of the Lord to bring the nations to the foot of the cross. Every knee shall bow before the King of kings and Lord of lords. Every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Where are the scoffers and mockers of the age? Let them come and revere the name of the Lord. Let them repent of their wickedness, cast aside their idols, and come and worship the King. I am ushering in the age of the kingdom, where every man, woman, and child shall submit to my rulership, says the Lord. Do not be conformed to the world and its ways of thinking, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I will make the way for you to go forth through the land, declaring the Lordship of Christ. Shout it from the rooftops, declare it in the streets. Declare the coming of the king. Declare his goodness to the nations. Tell of his deeds among men. Tell of his greatness. Speak forth the counsel of God. Declare his wisdom to the masses. Instruct the people. Feed them my word. Go forth with joy. I go before you. Your joy shall be full as you march out with orders given, says the Lord. So this word this morning is quite a lengthy one, and in a way it is quite raw. It seems sometimes when we seek the Lord, we are looking for answers or a certain direction to what we want to hear, and yet the Lord takes things in a different direction. I felt this word this morning was like that. It was encouraging to my heart to be assured by the Lord that no matter what takes place in the world we live in, we are secure in him, and everything works for the good of those who believe and trust in him. So amidst all the shaking taking place in the world today, all the challenges, all the threats of challenges to come, 
Our rest is in the Lord. Our peace is in him. He promises to hold us in his arms, take us into his bosom, take us up with him into higher realms in his spirit so that we can know his love for us and be content in his arms of love. I hope this word has encouraged you this morning to keep your eyes on the Lord. And although we can't deny what is going on around us, we can know that the answer to our problems and our queries and our questions is in the arms of God. Thank you for listening today, and we'll touch base again tomorrow. Bye for now.